Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about theory of equations, very short answer type questions. How they are asking in public examination in board of intermediate boards in the examination, very short answer type question. First of all, what type of questions they are going to ask? The first category in VSAQs, forming a polynomial equation. So, VSAQs, what type of questions? Forming a polynomial. When roots are given. This is first category. Second category, the relation between roots and coefficients. This is very, very important. Relation between roots and coefficients. And third one, transformation. That means, Transformation of equations. So, one by one, we will discuss about these concepts. So, let us consider. So, first of all, a polynomial equation. A polynomial equation with n roots a polynomial equation with n roots n roots means alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 like this alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and so on alpha n is we can write like this x minus alpha 1 into x minus alpha 2 into x minus alpha 3 into and so on x minus alpha n is equal to 0 suppose for example only three roots are given alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. So, the required polynomial will becomes x minus alpha 1 into x minus alpha 2 into x minus alpha 3 equal to 0. That is all. So, let us have a discussion and the questions. How they will ask the questions related to this formula. form the polynomial or form the monic polynomial of degree 3 whose roots are Two comma three comma six. Sir, you are saying about forming a polynomial, but what if they mention that monic polynomial? What is the meaning of monic polynomial? The leading coefficient in the polynomial. That means highest power of polynomial. Leading coefficient means. Suppose n roots are there, so x into x into and so on in n time, x power n, x power n is the highest power, x into x into x, x cube is there, so highest power is x cube, 
हुज कोफिशियंट विल बी वन सो दट इज कॉल्ड मोनिक पॉलिनोमियल मोनिक पॉलिनोमियल मीन्स द लीडिंग कोफिशियंट ऑफ द गिवेन पॉलिनोमियल इज ईक्वल टू वन इज मोनिक पॉलिनोमियल सो नाउ कम टू द क्वेश्चन द फॉर्म द पॉलिनोमियल इक्वेशन हुज डिग्री इज थ्री हुज रूट्स आर टू कामा थ्री कामा थ्री in the answer step we'll write at uh, given roots three roots are given now one is alpha 1 alpha 1 is equal to 2 alpha 2 is equal to 3 alpha 3 is equal to 6 therefore the required monic polynomial equation the required monic polynomial equation with the given roots is with the given roots is x minus alpha 1 into x minus alpha 2 into x minus alpha 3 equal to 0 so alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 substitute here and then simplify x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x minus 6 equal to 0 so first these two we have to multiply x minus 2 into x minus 3 x into x x square This is the way. So minus three x minus two x plus six into x minus six equal to zero. So x square minus five x plus six into x minus six. Now again actual multiplication. Each and every term of the bracket value, first bracket value, multiplying by x. So x into x square x cube. x into minus 5x minus 5x square x into 6 6x next minus 6 into x square minus 6x square minus 6 into minus 5x plus 30x minus 6 into 6 minus 36 equal to 0 so therefore x cube minus 5x square minus 6x square minus 11x square next my plus 6x plus 30x plus 36x square Sorry, plus thirty six x minus thirty six equal to zero. This is the way you can do, dear students, when the question is asking in that roots. Form a polynomial equation of lowest degree with roots one minus one three, like this example. You can practice. Alpha one is one. Alpha two is minus one, and alpha three is equal to three. Substitute in this, you can get the answer. so one more example i will give it based on this then we'll move on to the next question form a polynomial equation of the lowest degree of the lowest degree with roots 0 comma 0 comma 2 comma 2 comma -2 comma -2 so how many roots we have here six roots are there including 0 0 So first given roots, so alpha one is equal to zero, alpha two is equal to zero, alpha three is equal to two, alpha four is equal to two, alpha five equal to minus two, and alpha six is equal to minus two. So alpha one to alpha six, six roots are there. So what is the required equation of polynomial? 
द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन हुज रूट्स आर alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 and alpha 6 is x minus alpha 1 into x minus alpha 2 into x minus alpha 3 into x minus alpha 4 into x minus alpha 5 into x minus alpha 6 equal to 0 now alpha by value substitute x minus 0 x minus zero, x minus two, x minus two, x minus of minus two, x minus of minus two equal to zero. So x minus zero into x minus zero is x square only. Now we can write it here. X square, x minus two into x minus two, x minus two whole square. X plus two into x plus two, x plus two whole square. So after that, what we have to do is x square into here. We can write like this now: x minus two into x plus two whole square. So that implies that x square a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square x square minus four whole square is equal to zero. That implies x square into a minus b whole square expansion. Here we have to do that. X square whole square x power four plus four square sixteen minus two into x square into four so minus eight x square is equal to zero. X square into x power four x power six x square into sixteen plus sixteen x square minus eight into x square into x square x power four so right in the order therefore x power six minus eight x power four Plus sixteen x square is equal to zero is a required polynomial whose roots are zero zero two two minus two and minus two. I hope you everyone understand. This is the easiest question only. We'll move on to the next concept. So the next concept is relation between roots and coefficients. So for the polynomial, suppose for example we will take that cubic equation. For cubic equation, first I will explain cubic equation with an example. Next, bicuadratic equation with an example. This is this is good. so for a cubic equation what is that cubic equation a not x power 3 plus a1 x square plus a2 x plus a3 is equal to 0 It is a cubic equation. Suppose some students uh, are having doubt to take like this, it will be some little confusion. So better to do in place of a not a one a two a three a b c d. Then if you want, I will write it. That also is not a problem for me. That only or we can take like this also now. A x cube. Plus b x square plus c x plus d equal to zero for a cubic equation. So cubic equation means it has the three roots. Equation one has the roots alpha, beta, and gamma. In that first one, sum of the roots, 
it is denoted by s1 that is alpha plus beta plus gamma this is also denoted by sigma alpha equal to minus x square coefficient by x cube coefficient so that means minus b by a second one s2 product of the roots taken two at a time that means alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha we can write like this sigma alpha beta is equal to sigma alpha beta is equal to x coefficient by x cube coefficient that means c by a i am considering this equation the third one product of the roots s3 alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus d constant by x cube coefficient so minus d by a so this is the way when cubic equation is given so these are the three important points dear students we'll move on to the question based on this how they lost the question based on this find the relation between the relation between the roots and coefficients roots means alpha beta gamma coefficient is a b c d or a not a1 a2 a3 between the roots and the coefficients of the cubic equation of the cubic equation 3x cube minus 10x square plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0 so so first given cubic equation or simply given equation three x cube minus ten x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to zero. Keep that equation number one. So give equation one comparing with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to zero then a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 10 c is equal to 7 and d is equal to 10 after that the relation between roots and coefficient means s1 s2 s3 we can write it so first one sum of the roots s1 is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a formula so that is equal to minus of minus 10 divided by a value 3 so 10 by 3 so second one s2 that means product of sum of the product of the roots are taken two at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a what is c here 7 7 by a value 3 third one product of the roots s3 is equal to alpha into beta into gamma minus d by a so minus 10 divided by a value 3 that's all 
this is the way you can consider suppose if it is cubic equation sorry monic polynomial monic cubic equation so always monic cubic equation means you have to consider x cube the highest power that leading coefficient should be 1 by taking it common and then write the relation between them relation between roots and i hope you understand that now we will move on to the biquadratic equation biquadratic equation for the equation i am not mentioning here by quadratic it is understood that for the equation a x power 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus d x plus e is equal to 0. Here by observing fourth degree that means it has four roots you keep that equation number one equation one is of degree four so whenever degree four means it has four roots is of degree four and having the roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta. So, four roots are there. Now, we will find out the relation between them. Sum of the roots S1 is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to same minus x cube coefficient by x power 4 coefficient minus x cube coefficient by y cube x power 4 coefficient next this you can write as sigma alpha also i already said that s2 sum of the product of the roots taken three at a time sorry two at a time first after the three so alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta next delta alpha after that what you have to write it that doubt will arise obviously so here what combination is not there that you can find out these two combination and these two combination is not there. So, that is all will come. So, alpha gamma next plus beta delta that is equal to first alpha beta next beta gamma gamma delta next delta alpha after that these two will come. Next, x square coefficient by x power 4 coefficient. So, c by a. Next, third one, product of the roots taken 3 at a time. So, in the cyclic order, S3, observe carefully, alpha, beta, gamma plus, next start with beta, beta, gamma, delta plus next start with a gamma, delta gamma delta alpha next last one gamma delta alpha next start with delta delta alpha beta delta 3 3 no alpha beta gamma over beta gamma delta over next gamma delta alpha is also over delta alpha beta delta alpha beta
right which is equal to alternatively plus minus will come dear students remember s1 will get negative s2 will get positive s3 will get negative s4 will get positive so minus x coefficient by x power 4 coefficient so minus d by a so fourth one s4 equal to product of the roots taken at a time you can write 4 alpha beta gamma and into delta is equal to constant by x power coefficients that is also e by a this is the information about the biquadratic equation dear students this is biquadratic equation and relation between roots and their coefficients let us have a discussion one question here based on this concept write down the relation between the relation between the roots between the roots and the coefficients and the coefficients of the biquadratic equation x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 4x square plus 6x minus 21 equal to 0. So, one by one we will do that. Given equation or polynomial equation x power 4 minus 2x power 3 plus 4x square plus 6x minus 21 equal to 0 keep equation number 1 equation 1 comparing with equation 1 comparing with a x power 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus d x plus e is equal to 0 then we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2. It is monic polynomial. Why? Because leading coefficient is x power 4 whose coefficient is 1. c is equal to 4, d is equal to 6, e is equal to minus 21. Now, 1 by 1 we will do that. First one, s1 is equal to sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta minus b by a. So, minus of minus 2 divided by 1 that is equal to 2. Second one, product of the roots S2 is equal to. So, logically I am writing alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta plus delta alpha plus alpha gamma plus beta delta is equal to C by A. So, C value is 4 by A value is 1. So, ultimately that value is equal to 4. Next, third one, product of the roots taken at time 3. S3 is equal to alpha beta gamma plus beta gamma delta plus gamma delta alpha plus delta alpha beta. That is equal to 
minus d by a that is equal to minus 6 by 1 that is equal to minus 6. So, last one product of the roots S4 equal to alpha into beta into gamma into delta is equal to E by A. A value 1 no. So, E, e value is minus 21 by A value 1. So, minus 21. This is the way we can complete the values of S1, S2, S3, S4. So, now we will discuss uh, some example regarding this, which they asked in the previous uh, public examinations. Find S1, S2, S3, S4 for the equation x power 4 minus 16 x cube plus 86 x square minus 176 x plus 105 is equal to 0. So, first step is given polynomial or given equation. x power 4 minus 16 x cube plus 86 x square minus 176 x plus 105 is equal to 0. So, this equation 1 comparing with ax power 4 plus bx power 3 plus cx square plus dx plus e equal to 0. Then we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 16, c is equal to 86, d is equal to minus 176 and e is equal to 105. So, first S1 directly we can write it minus B by A every time. So, minus of minus 16 by 1 S2 C by A C is equal to 86 by 1. So, 86 S3 minus D by A. I already said that alternatively plus minuses, but start with minus. So, minus of minus 176 by A value 1. So, 176. S4 product of the roots E by A. That is equal to E value 1 or 5 divided by 1. So, one other example for practice question. Find S1, S2, S3, S4 for the equations for the equation. 8x power 4 minus 2x power 3 minus 27x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. You have to do this students. The coming questions are very very important for 2 marks. I hope
if alpha beta gamma are the roots of four x cube minus six x square plus seven x plus three equal to zero then find alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha so once if you understand the question indirectly they are asking to calculate it is a cubic equation no sum of the roots sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time that means yes two they are asking was so given polynomial i think this question is given in 2019 in ts 4x cube minus 6x square plus 7x plus 3 equal to 0 equation 1 comparing with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0 then a equal to 4 b equal to minus 6 c equal to 7 and d equal to 3 So they are asking here, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to yes two. Yes one is minus b by a. Yes two is c by a. So seven by a value four. That's our answer. Hence we got it. We'll move on to the next question. If one comma minus two comma three are the roots of the roots of x cube minus two x square plus a x plus six equal to zero, then find a. Then find ये सो फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉट यू हेट राइट टू मेथड्स आई विल गिव इट हियर मेथड वन Given polynomial is x cube minus 2x square plus ax plus 6 equal to zero. Keep that equation number one. And here you mention that a is equal to one, b is equal to minus two, c is equal to a, and d is equal to six. So roots are given. Here unknown value is a. This value. Sum of the roots if you calculate. already roots are there either product of the roots are sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time you can do that any one of them you will get it answer so first what i am doing is sum of the roots taken two at a time so s2 is equal to according to the question is c by a yes to value yes to means what alpha beta 
plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha alpha beta gamma are the roots so alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha so what are the roots of equation is given roots of equation 1 are alpha is equal to 1 beta is equal to minus 2 and gamma is equal to 3 so c value is a by a value is 1 and alpha beta so 1 into minus 2 plus beta gamma minus 6 gamma alpha plus 3 so that implies a by 1 is a minus 8 plus 3 minus 5 another method how to do that method 2 this is by taking s2 here doubt will arise sir why is sir we are taking only s2 so sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time only no unknown value here this place that is the reason i have taken so in the method 2 the roots are 1 minus 2 3 so 1 is 1 is a root of equation 1 then f of 1 is equal to 0 so that means given polynomial f of x is equal to this one so f of 1 wherever x is there one replace f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus a into 1 plus 6 equal to 0 so that implies that 1 minus 2 plus a plus 6 equal to 0 so 6 plus 1 7 minus 2 is 5 plus a equal to 0 that implies that a is equal to minus 5. So in the method 2 also we can do that. So one other important question I am going to tell that based on this. if 1 1 alpha are the roots of x cube minus 6x square plus 9x minus 4 equal to 0 then find alpha so this question is also in ap and ts 2018, 2016, 2020, the number of times they ask in the public exam. The students keep in mind and do it this stuff. So given polynomial, given polynomial equation x cube minus 6x square plus 9x minus 4 equal to 0. Keep that equation number 1. And here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, c is equal to 9, and d is equal to minus 4. I hope you understand why I am writing a, b, c, d values. Comparing with a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d equal to 0. Next, 1, 1 alpha. So, here also, two ways we can do from here. In this method 1, In the method one, what I am going to do is product of the roots, simple, S3 is equal to, formula for S3 is what? Minus D by A, that is equal to, product of the roots. Here one more information you need to write, given roots of equation 1 roots of equation 1 or alpha is equal to 1, beta is equal to 1 and gamma is equal to alpha. 
so alpha into beta into gamma minus d by a so minus of minus 4 a value 1 alpha into 1 into 1 into alpha so 4 is equal to alpha so in the method 2 what we can do that product of the root is taken 2 at a time you can take s2 also you can take s2 is equal to alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to um, c by a so alpha beta 1 into 1 beta gamma plus alpha plus alpha c value is 9 by a value is 1 so 2 alpha plus 1 is equal to 9 2 alpha is equal to 8 alpha is equal to 4 so in any way we are getting alpha value is 4 i hope you understand this students we move on to the next question If minus 1, 2, alpha are roots of 2x cube plus x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0, then find alpha So, given polynomial or simply given equation 2x cube plus x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0. Keep that equation number 1. Here, this equation compared with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 7 and d is equal to minus 6. So, A, B, C, D values, we got it. After that, they are asking alpha only, you know. So, product of the roots I am taking. Therefore, we have S3 is equal to minus D by A. Product of the roots. So, before that I forgot to write here. Given roots of equation 1 are minus 1 comma 2 comma alpha so here these are the roots no product of the roots minus 1 into 2 into alpha so minus d so minus of minus 6 by 2 a value so here minus 2 alpha so here 2 ones are 2 threes are minus and minus 3 is equal to minus 2 alpha so alpha is equal to minus 3 by 2. I hope you understand that. We will move on to the next question. Even you can, this is the method 1 from here or you can go to S2 also. Some of the roots also you can do, even S1 also. Even the previous question also, S1. Here, yes, uh, I will tell that later s2 also you can take or s1 also we can take s2 means what c by a so alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha what is c value in this minus 7 a value 2 alpha beta minus 1 into 2 so minus 2 2 into alpha 2 alpha alpha into minus 1 minus alpha so minus 2 can this 2 minus 7 by 2 is equal to alpha 4 minus 7 that implies that alpha is equal to minus 3 by 2 so if you want you can apply or 
S1 also minus B by A. minus 1 by 2. So, minus b by a means minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 plus 2 plus alpha. So, minus 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to alpha minus 3 by 2 is equal to alpha. So, even the above problem also you can take that S1 and get the answer now. So, based on the product only especially that question also we will discuss. If the product of this question also APTS uh, 2, 3 times they asked 2016, 17, 19 like if the product of if the product of roots of 4x cube plus 16x square minus 9x minus a is equal to 0 is 9 then find a then find a. If the product of the roots of the equation is 9, then find A. So, first here directly product of the roots only given no? given polynomial or given equation 4x cube plus 16x square minus 9x minus a is equal to 0 equation number 1 cubic equation means given uh, roots we have to assume that and before that comparing with this equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0. So, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 16, c is equal to minus 9, d is equal to minus a. Given product of the roots, given product of the roots is equal to 9 that is S3 is equal to alpha into beta into gamma. What is the formula for S3? Minus d by a is equal to 9. What is d? What is a? Minus of minus a by a value is 4 is equal to 9. So, that implies a is equal to 36, 9, 4, so that is minus a is minus into minus plus one in. So, a is equal to 36. So, therefore, the value of a is equal to 36. We will move on to the next one. Next question. If alpha beta 1, the previous question, if you observe that two roots are given, one unknown root is there. But in this case, two unknown roots are there, one known root is there. How to calculate? If alpha beta 1 are the roots, are the roots of x cube minus 2x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 then find alpha comma beta 
then find alpha comma beta first step is given equation given equation x cube minus 2x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 keep that equation number 1 compare with a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 c is equal to 5 d is equal to 6 and given the roots of equation 1 are alpha beta comma 1 so here one by one we will apply product of the roots alpha and beta like s1 is equal to sum of the roots only no alpha plus beta plus 1 is equal to minus b by a so minus of minus 2 plus 2 by a value is 1 so alpha plus beta is equal to 2 minus 1 alpha plus beta is equal to 1 next product of the roots you take s3 alpha into beta into gamma value is 1 is equal to minus d by a so that implies alpha beta is equal to minus d by a means minus 6 by 1 so whenever you know alpha plus beta and alpha beta so we need to uh, verify that we have alpha minus beta alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha minus beta whole square is equal to 4 alpha beta only no so from that alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta so from that alpha minus beta is equal to square root of plus or minus alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta so alpha minus beta equal to plus or minus root over alpha plus beta 1 square minus 4 into minus 6 plus 6 into 4 so alpha minus beta is equal to plus or minus root 25 so alpha minus beta is equal to plus or minus 5 case 1 you take first one alpha plus beta is equal to 1 alpha plus uh, alpha minus beta is equal to 5 adding these two 2 alpha is equal to 6 alpha is equal to 3 Similarly, alpha is equal to 3 means uh, substitute any of the equations. 3 plus beta is equal to 1, beta is equal to minus 2. So, alpha beta value we got it in this case. Therefore, alpha is equal to 3, beta is equal to minus 2. So, if you consider another case, alpha plus beta is equal to 1, alpha minus beta is equal to minus 5 if we consider. So, adding both the equations, it will be cancelled. 2 alpha is equal to minus 4. Alpha is equal to minus 2. So, alpha value, alpha is equal to minus 2. Substitute in equation alpha plus beta is equal to 1. So, minus 2 plus beta is equal to 1. So, beta is equal to 3. Therefore, alpha is equal to minus 2. And beta is equal to 3. So, in that way, two cases we have to consider and get it the values. So, one practice question I will give it here, dear students, for you people. So, practice question based on quadratic equation by quadratic equation. If 1, 2, 3, 4 are a roots of 
x power 4 plus a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d then find the values of a b c d so 1 2 3 4 roots given for this polynomial equation find the values of a b c d find out s1 s2 s3 s4 you will get the answers indirectly okay i hope you people understand that we will move on to the next concept yeah the next question dear students if alpha beta gamma are the roots of are the roots of x cube plus p x square plus q x plus r equal to 0 then find then find the first question sigma alpha square second question sigma alpha cube so both are good questions conceptually <coughs> This type of question we may expect in the competitive exam also, dear students. So, first, uh, let alpha, comma, beta, comma, gamma are roots of the equation x cube plus p x square plus q x plus r equal to 0 put that equation number 1 and this equation you have to compare with uh, ax cube plus uh, bx square plus cx plus d and directly I am writing already number of times number of problems we wrote in that way so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus p c is equal to q and d is equal to r after that sum of the roots <coughs> product of the roots and sum of the roots product of the roots taken two at a time also we can write it s1 s2 s3 so s1 is equal to so alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a so minus b means minus of minus p by a value 1 so it will becomes p similarly s2 is equal to s2 means what alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to formula is c by a so a value 1 c value q so therefore from here the from first alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to p here alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to q these results will help in solving sigma alpha square sigma alpha cube dear students that is the reason i am writing s3 alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus d by a so minus r by 1 Therefore, alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus r. So, now come to the first question. What is that first question? Sigma alpha square. That means, alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. So, like cyclic order. We know that a square plus b square plus c square can be written as 
a plus b plus c whole square minus 2 into ab plus bc plus ca. So similarly, alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square can be written as alpha plus, these are the algebraic formulas dear students, alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square minus 2 into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. Standard result it is. So alpha plus beta plus gamma is what? P, P square minus 2 into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is Q. So the answer is sigma alpha square is P square minus 2Q. We will move on to the next question. Next question means second one. That is a sigma alpha cube. The meaning of sigma alpha cube means what? Cyclic In cyclic order, sum of the cubes of alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube equal to. <coughs> Here, we have the formula. A plus B plus C whole cube equal to A cube plus B cube plus C cube like this. It will be there now. So, similarly, for that, this can be expressed as A cube plus alpha cube plus beta cube plus C uh, gamma cube equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma into alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square. minus 3 into product of the roots taken two at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha that's bracket close plus three times of alpha beta gamma so this respective values we know that alpha b alpha plus beta plus gamma value is what p this value is also p square minus 3 into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is q. Plus 3 into minus r. p alpha into beta into gamma is minus 1. So, which is equal to p into p square minus 3q minus 3r. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is uh, P. So here I wrote B value positive minus P, no sorry, here plus P. Here also minus P will come, sorry. In this case also I wrote wrong here minus P. So here also minus p whole square it is not a problem. Here it will be. So I rectified now. So minus pq plus 3pq minus 3r. So write in the positive terms first. So if you take out common p from first two terms without writing for a negative. So, you write like this, it is P3PQ minus uh, PQ minus 3 or better. That's all. But you have to remember, a alpha Q plus beta Q plus gamma Q is alpha plus beta plus gamma into alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square minus 3 times of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha bracket close plus three times of product of the roots so we will discuss uh, another question so based on this uh, we have another question <coughs> if a comma b comma c are the roots of 
एक्स क्यूब माइनस पी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू एक्स प्लस आर सॉरी माइनस आर इक्वल टू जीरो देन फाइंड वन बाई ए स्क्वायर देन वन बाई ए स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई बी स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई सी स्क्वायर इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट गिवेन इक्वेशन एक्स क्यूब माइनस पी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू एक्स माइनस आर इक्वल टू जीरो कीप इट इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिंस ए का मा बी का मा सी आर द रूट्स ऑफ इक्वेशन वन द रूट्स ऑफ इक्वेशन वन then sum of the roots product of the roots and uh, product of the roots taken two at a time sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time s1 is equal to a plus b plus c minus b by a see minus b by a is minus of minus p by a value is 1 so p so a plus b plus c is equal to p put it in box एस टू इज ईक्वल टू ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए सो सी बाई ए सो सी बी मीन्स क्यू बाई वन दट इज ईक्वल टू क्यू देर फोर ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए इज ईक्वल टू क्यू नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हैव वी वॉन्ट एस थ्री प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रूट्स ए इंटू बी इंटू सी So minus d by a. So minus of minus r plus r. One. Therefore, it is equal to r. Therefore, a b c is equal to r. After that, come to the question. What they are asking to find? They are asking to find the value of one by a square. प्लस वन बै बी स्क्वयर प्लस वन बै सी स्क्वयर ईक्वल टू टेकियम सो वन बै ए स्क्वयर प्लस वन बै बी स्क्वयर प्लस वन बै सी स्क्वयर टेक एलसीयम ए स्क्वयर बी स्क्वयर सी स्क्वयर So a square times is divided, so it will becomes b square c square plus b square b square cancel means a square c square plus c square c square get cancel. You will get a a square b square. After that, a square plus b square we can write like this now. This is b c whole square plus a c whole square. Plus a b whole square by a b c whole square. So the numerator is in the form of alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. So we know that formula alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square minus 2 into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha so by using this formula where alpha beta gamma is uh, bc ac a ab so the numerator value will becomes bc plus ac plus ab whole square Minus two times of alpha beta means B C into A C, so B C into A C plus A C into A B plus A B into B C divided by A B C whole square. 
सो बी सी प्लस ए सी प्लस ए बी होल स्क्वेर माइनस टू इंटू सो इन एवरी टाइम ए बी सी टेक कामन ना सो इफ यू टेक आउट कामन ए बी सी फ्रॉम हियर ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी हियर इफ यू टेक आउट ए बी सी कामन सी विल बी देर ए बी सी इफ यू टेक आउट कामन हियर ए विल बी देर इफ यू टेक आउट कामन ए बी सी हियर बी विल बी देर बाय ए बी सी होल स्क्वेर सो वी नो द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी बी सॉरी ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इज वॉट पी and a b b c plus a c plus that value is what q so q square minus 2 into a b c value is r into a plus b plus c value is p divided by a b c so a b c value is r r square so which is equal to q square minus 2 p r divided by r square this is the required result i hope everyone understand dear students 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square we'll move on to the next question based on roots and coefficients one more question is there which is given in the public examination if minus 1 comma 2 comma alpha are the roots are the roots of 2x cube plus x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0 then find alpha So, given equation, two x cube plus x square minus seven x minus six equal to zero. Compare with a x cube plus b x square plus uh, c x plus d is equal to zero. So here, a is equal to two, b is equal to one, c is equal to minus seven. B is equal to minus six. So after that, some of the rules. Any all three methods are there to do that by using S one, by using S two, by using S three. But first to take S one. S one is equal to. So and given. Minus one comma two comma alpha are the roots of equation one. So yes, one is equal to sum of the roots only now minus b by a. So minus one plus two plus alpha is equal to minus b by a minus one by a. So simplify. Minus one plus two is one plus alpha is equal to minus one by two. So alpha is equal to minus one by two minus one. Alpha is equal to minus three by two. So we got that answer. So if you want to apply product of the roots, in other case R. If you want to apply S three, product of the roots minus one into two into alpha is equal to product of the roots is minus d by a. So minus d means minus of minus six. By a value is two, so three it will becomes. So minus two alpha is equal to three. That implies alpha is equal to minus three by two. Even like this also we'll get the answer. Even if we want product of the roots also, we can apply some of that. No, product of the roots taken two at a time. Yes, two also it will come answer. Even that also will do. So, any one of them you can do. I am keeping here R R no. Any one of them, dear students. Don't uh, so roots are minus one two alpha na so minus one into two two into alpha alpha into minus one so that is equal to c by a what is c in this uh, minus seven a value is two minus seven by two 
that implies that minus 2 plus 2 alpha minus alpha equal to minus 7 by 2. So, minus 2 also we can take this side. 2 alpha minus alpha is alpha minus 7 by 2 plus 2. So, minus 7 plus 4 by 2 that is equal to minus 3 by 2. Therefore, alpha is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, dear students, among the three methods, whichever the method you feel easy. I thought first method is best method. Other than this, if you want to do, if you want to learn subject knowledge, you can go to other methods also. I thought uh, everyone completed. So, we will move on to the different concept. Different concept means uh, in the third two marks type question, transformation of equations. transformation of equations. What type of transformation of equations are available? We will see that. I will give that. Uh, see, find the transformed equation whose roots are the negatives of the roots. The time you can take that uh, f of minus x, wherever f of x is there, f of minus x, we have to write it, that's all. So, first I will, uh, what are the types, questions, the first category in this transformation of equations, the equations whose roots are, the equation whose roots are, those of the equation, those of the equation f of x equal to 0 with negatives is f of minus x is equal to 0 in place of negatives in competitive exams terminology signs changed like this also they will give signs changed with the negatives means f of minus x equal to 0 for every concept i will give one one example dear students the next one the equation whose roots are whose roots are k not equal to 0 k times the roots of k times the roots of f of x is equal to 0 is f of x by k equal to 0. For example, find the equation whose roots are 3 times the roots of the given polynomial or equation f of x equal to 0. So, k is equal to what? 3. So, f of x by 3 equal to 0 if you calculate, you will get the answer. Yeah. Next, the third type question, what type of question they will ask? The reciprocal equation. Even in LAQs also, reciprocal equations, uh, we will discuss separate uh, video based on that. The equation, the equation, whose roots of, whose roots are reciprocals of the roots of of the roots of f of x is equal to 0 is f of 1 by x is equal to 0. Reciprocal means reciprocal of x, 1 by x. So, wherever x is there, 1 by x, you have to replace and simplify, you will get the reciprocal equation. So, for each and every for here concept, we will give one example. So, it will easy to understand for the students. So, let us have the first question discussion. Find the transformed equation find the transformed equation whose roots are whose roots are the negatives 
whose roots are the negatives of the roots of the roots of x power 4 plus 5x cube plus 11x plus 3 equal to 0 so simple one first given equation f of x you can write it f of x is equal to x power 4 plus 5x cube plus 11x plus 3 equal to 0. Put that equation number 1. They are asking negatives of this equation. No? Say for the required equation simply. The required equation of 1 is. Simply you can write the required equation is f of minus x is equal to 0. So, in this equation 1, wherever x is there, you have to replace with minus. So, that is minus x whole power 4 plus 5 into minus x whole cube plus 11 into minus x plus 3 equal to 0. So, x power 4 minus, minus x whole cube is minus only minus 5x cube minus 11x plus 3 equal to 0. So, that is all answer. This is about negatives of the polynomial or negatives of the equation. We will move to the next question. You practice based on this another question dear students. Find the equation, algebraic equation. Find the algebraic equation whose roots are whose roots are two times whose roots are two times the roots of the polynomial the roots of the equation or polynomial roots of the equation only x power 5 minus 2x power 4 plus 3x square 3x cube minus 2x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. So, here how many times they are asking? 2 times the roots. Say, so k is equal to 2. So, first given equation that given equation you can consider as f of x. So, f of x is equal to x power 5 minus 2x power 4 plus 3x cube minus 2x square minus plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Put that equation number 1. The equation whose roots are the equation whose roots are 2 times 2 times the roots of the roots of equation 1 is f of x by 2 equal to 0 that is wherever x is there in this equation replace with x by 2 so x by 2 whole power 5 minus 2 into x by 2 whole power 4 plus 3 into x by 2 whole cube minus 2 into x by 2 whole square plus 4 into x by 2 plus 3 equal to 0 
so x power 5 divided by 2 power 5 that is 32 minus 2 into x power 4 divided by 2 power 4 is 16 plus 3 into x power 3 divided by 2 power 3 is 18 minus 2 into x square divided by 2 square is 4 plus 4x by 2 plus 3 equal to 0. So, LCM for 32, 16, 8, 4, 2 is, 32 is obviously, so 32, so LCM is 32. So, 32 LCM, so x power 5 minus 16, 2 is a, 2, 2 is a 4, 4 into x power 4 plus 8, 4 is a 4 into 3, 12, 12 x power 3. Minus 4, 8, 8 to the 16, 16x square, plus 2, 16, 16, 4, 64, x, plus 32, 3, 96. So, cross multiply, that means 32, we can take that sign, x power 5, minus 4x power 4, plus 12x power 3, minus 16x square plus 64x plus 96 is equal to 0 which is the required equation which is the required equation whose roots are two times the roots of the polynomial so similarly one other example for practice i will give the question for negatives, no need to give that. So, practice question I am giving here for the students. Find an algebraic equation. Find an algebraic equation. Whose roots are whose roots are sorry equation of degree equation of degree 4 don't confuse when they are mentioning degree nothing will happen but we want how many times it is we want degree 4 whose roots are whose roots are 3 times whose roots are three times the roots of the equation six x power four minus seven x cube plus eight x square minus seven x plus two equal to zero. So, this is the same wherever x is there, x by 3 you can write. Why? Because 3 times, dear students. Don't consider that 4th degree. This is not degree is the not criteria. How many times the root is? So, 3 times here they mentioned. So, x by 3, f of x by 3, hint. So, calculate this. We will move on to the reciprocal equation. Last question. This model. So, all two marks question in this video I am giving dear students for your convenience. So, in the theory of equations, mathematics 2A and intermediate, either in TS or AP, it will help, I hope, uh, this video. And you can join in my uh, telegram channel. I will provide the link in this video in the description. So, the last question. Find the polynomial. Find the polynomial. equation whose roots are whose roots are the reciprocals of roots of the equation x power 4 minus 3x cube plus 7x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to 0. This is the question. So, 
फर्स्ट स्टेप गिवेन इक्वेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स पावर फोर माइनस थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो कीप द रिक्वेशन नंबर वन द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन द रेसिप्रोकल्स इज देर नो सो द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन f of one by x is equal to zero. This is called a reciprocal equation to the given equation one. That is, so wherever in the equation x is there, replace with one by x and write it that one by x whole power four minus three into one by x whole power three plus seven into one by x whole square plus five into one by x minus two equal to zero. So one by x power four. माइनस थ्री बै एक्स पवर थ्री प्लस सेवन बै एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव बै एक्स माइनस टू ईक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स पवर फोर इज द एलसीएम सो एक्स पवर फोर वन टाइम वन इंटू वन माइनस एक्स पवर थ्री एक्स टाइम सो थ्री एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर इज द रिमेनिंग सो सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस x x power four how many times is divisible x power three times so x power three into five five x power three minus two into here denominator is one only no so one into x power four into two so two x power four equal to zero so cross multiplying so one minus three x plus seven x square plus five x cube minus two x power four equal to zero but you write in the order throughout multiplying by minus and write it. Right, because x power two highest power is x power four here, uh, whose coefficient is minus two, no. So multiplying by minus and write it. Otherwise, take common minus better. Two x power four minus five x cube minus seven x square plus three x minus one is equal to zero. So that minus um, we can take this side. Therefore, the required polynomial or equation, the reciprocal equation is two x power four minus five x cube. Minus seven x square plus three x minus one is equal to zero. I hope everyone understand, dear students. Those who are watching first time our channel, please do subscribe and go to the playlist. Whatever the you are required, it will be available. And those who are studying intermediate boards, for them. Now uh, you can share this information to your CBSC friends also. Those who are studying twelfth class, integration or three-dimensional geometry or straight lines, so, like these chapters also available in our channel. And please pass the information to your relatives and friends. If you like this video, please you can share to your friends. Thank you, dear students, for watching my channel. Signing off, Maths with Panindra. Jai Hind.